Previously on Harrison's Away, I booked my ticket to Israel. I'm also going to South Africa. Saturday started out like any normal Saturday. I even got the whole body alarm clock thing working. The best way to turn your body into an alarm clock is by figuring out what time you want to wake up, thinking about that time when you go to sleep, and then having a dream about whatever you like. I dreamt about the Cold War. At some point in the dream, you have to realize that you're dreaming and make yourself wake up. Then you wake up, guess what time it is, and if you're close enough to the time you wanted to wake up, get out of bed, if not, go back to sleep and buy an alarm clock. Today, however, is not like any normal day. Today, I'm going to Israel. My voyage starts at Melbourne Airport, where they refuse to acknowledge the existence of odd numbers. Support for the Australian soccer team seems to be running rampant. Green and gold soccer paraphernalia is everywhere. This guy seems a little worried. I'm not really sure why. It might have something to do with those Zig hail showers in the international terminal. After 20 minutes of standing in line and doing nothing, we finally boarded the plane and left for Hong Kong. I didn't have much time in Hong Kong Airport. I basically just got off the plane, caught the train to the departures terminal, walked down this long corridor and got on Swiss Air Flight 139 to Zurich. Flying to Zurich takes a long time. For those of you keeping score, it's about 12 hours. I slept most of the way and then when I woke up, this was on the screen. System restarting isn't something you want to see on a plane flying over Russia. We landed in Zurich and I caught another train to another terminal and walked down another long corridor. This time I had to wait two hours for the plane to leave. The Swiss try and make you feel really safe by putting the first aid sign all over the place. They even put it on their planes. They get it wrong sometimes though. On this door they got mixed up between a cross and the letter F. And on this plane the cross seems to have exploded and is now leaking yellow. After two hours of sitting in Zurich airport doing nothing we left for Tel Aviv. To make me feel better they gave me mini camembert on the plane. To make me feel better I stole their blanket. Around three hours later, the first glimmer of the Israeli coastline was visible from the plane. My 30 hours of travelling was coming to an end. We finally landed at the new Ben Gurion airport, which is a lot nicer than the old Ben Gurion airport. Although I do remember that sign being a lot bigger and outside. On the next, Harrison's Away. I made up with my long lost sister, and I show you a picture of some Jews. Hey,